Hi everybody, we are RV Traveling with Six. We have four kids and a small dog and we plan to travel eventually full time um, across the US and parts of Canada and hopefully into Alaska. And so far we are trying to sell our house. We've moved almost all of our stuff out of the house and we have some stuff in storage but other stuff we have sold. So we're on our way. We are wanting to show you and share this journey with you as well. So you go ahead and talk about some plans that we have. So when we first got in the process, we actually owned a, uh, a 37 foot bumper pole. It was a Pumbaa. Uh, it was a bunkhouse in the rear. And so we had three bunks in the back. Uh, it was a bedroom in the front, so we had privacy. Uh, it, it was a nice setup to begin with for weekend trips, uh, little extended stays, but as far as uh, really getting out there, we have family all the way from the tip of Minnesota all the way down to Texas. Uh, so for winter months, if we were doing any traveling, especially around Thanksgiving, it gets cold. Minnesota's already starting to freeze and we didn't have any way to keep our tanks protected as far as uh, with heat strips or underbody heat and so it made it very difficult if we were trying to stay up there for a, a little time during the holidays uh, of course Texas we wouldn't have any problems unless it became a pretty good freeze uh, so we decided to upgrade uh, to a uh, 2019 Jayco Precept Prestige it's a 36B uh, so we have the bunk house, and we also have a drop-down bunk above the uh, driver and passenger. And so it makes it really nice as far as driving down the road and having enough space for everybody to uh, just do their normal activities, whether they're working on homeschooling or wanting to eat, you know, having access to the fridge. You know, we can easily pull over to run the generator to get the microwave going, and then I can jump jump back in my seat and take off again uh, so that was kind of our ultimate decision of why we wanted a class A versus continuing on with either a bumper pull or a fifth wheel the fifth wheels are really nice don't get me wrong but as far as being able to jump and go the kids get tired of you know if we're in the middle of nowhere and need to go to the bathroom or if they're hungry you're trying to find a place to pull over and having to get everybody out of the vehicle to walk back to the trailer to go in and take their break and then trying to get everybody loaded back up so it's it's a lot safer as far as not having to walk around the vehicles or anything like that and of course more accessible for the kids uh, so it makes it really nice especially if it's an emergency or something like that we can kind of pull off to a safe area they can unbuckle and go back to the bathroom <laughs> so but uh, uh, like Jane stated, we're practically getting prepared to go full time. Uh, we're not quite there yet. We've already taken this motorhome out uh, two times. The first time we went on a little weekend trip down to a local state park here in Iowa. And then uh, we went on a trip down to Texas for three weeks to visit the heat. <laughs> and... Uh, went down for family fish fry and, and all that and it actually turned out and that's roughly about 762 miles uh, just one way so we got a lot of time on the road and and really got to to see and feel if the motorhome would really give us the advantage that we were actually expecting but uh, uh, we still have some bumps in the road it t actually it went really good I thought because um, two nights on the way back we boondocked and um, just pulled over we had one night was in a Walmart parking lot and another night was in a uh, like a semi truck parking area just off the side of the interstate and it went really well um, we when we stop we always look to make sure it feels safe that it looks safe that there's not too much activity going on otherwise we'll just move on to the next place um, but as far as the boondocking went for those two nights, it went really good. And then we just stopped at a state park on that third day to get water and to dump in. 
and get and stretch our legs and the kids played at the playground and got to meet the ranger and so it was a lot of fun and it I thought it went really well that even the boondocking and we we're brand new to the boondocking process so we didn't really know how that was going to go especially with four little kids and um, being in places that we didn't know or hadn't been before but it went really good so yeah it went really nice so especially having a generator uh, mm -hmm. we were definitely looking at generators when we had the travel trailer uh, of course we had uh, it was a nice travel trailer but you didn't feel you don't get the feel of being secure uh, when you're pulling off into Walmart and trying to open the slides and trying to sleep for the night and you know being able to pull up and if you're gonna put stabilizer jacks before you let your slide out you know uh, we were able to do that even in the uh, truck stop rest area it wasn't really a rest area but it was just practically a huge open lot and there's probably about a hundred to 150 truck drivers in there and so we just pulled up along the side somewhere to the far right and just opened our slides off on the uh, passenger side I didn't feel quite secure opening up the driver's side that way that the truck drivers would still have plenty of room went in and left the parking lights on so it worked out great so but having that secured not having to walk from your vehicle you're already in your vehicle and their doors locked so if something did happen or, or something come up we'd have time and still have some time behind the, the locked door to to take action before they could actually get to us and not have to worry about somebody breaking into our vehicle and tagging us down the road <laughs> so but uh i think for the most part um everybody is respectful of each other when they're out there um the semi truck drivers um seemed very respectful and didn't bother anybody and we were just kind of one of them when we stopped so i i didn't feel at all that our safety was in jeopardy at all so um like i said um we both we we checked that out before we completely make a full stop and we we kind of um sent get a sense of what's going on in the area before we make sure that it's okay to stop so other than that um we are so glad you're here with us on this um journey and the start of this and we hope that we will um be able to share more with the, you that you're interested in um like i said we are trying to sell our house we're doing um some trips but we have to come back because we still have to tend to a house so we're kind of off and on the road so if there's times where you don't see us post that would be why but other than that i we can't wait to get going on the road and do this full time absolutely it's been it's been great so far and everybody has really enjoyed it the kids have really loved it so but if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to leave comments positive comments <laughs> and uh if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe uh we have another video we're going to be doing over our motorhome uh, if you actually try to youtube it there's not very many videos out there and once again uh, if you like to check us out we're on uh, facebook instagram and then of course we have a website it's rv traveling with six the number six dot com <laughs>